Have you ever wondered what colorblindness is? How about what the world looks like with colorblindness? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Scott Baldwin, and I am an optometrist at Eye Surgeons Associates. Today, I'm going to answer your questions about colorblindness. Color vision is made possible because of color receptors in our eyes that are called cones. In normal human color vision, there are three different types of color receptors. The long wavelength cone, or the L cone, is most sensitive to shades of red. The medium wavelength cone, or M cone, is most sensitive to shades of green. And the short wavelength cone, or the S cone, is most sensitive to blue. Whenever we look at a light, the brain will assess how each of these three types of cones responded in order to tell what color it is. In most cases of color blindness, one of the three types of cones is defective or missing, usually the L cone for red color or the M cone for green. It is rare to have a defective S cone for seeing blue or to have both the L cone and M cones be defective. Because most colorblind people still have two types of functioning cones, they are able to see more than just black and white. It's just fewer colors and a smaller variety of colors than what is seen with three types of functioning cones. To demonstrate how colorblind people see different colors, look at these buttons. This is an unfiltered picture with many color buttons. And this is what it looks like if you are missing the L cone. It would look very similar if you were missing the M cone. People who are colorblind are still able to see several different colors of buttons, but some of the colors that look very different with normal color vision look very similar with colorblindness. For example, the green buttons and the orange buttons look like different shades of the same color, and the teal buttons and the light purple buttons look nearly identical in color. Colorblindness doesn't have a cure, and although it can make some activities more difficult, it doesn't usually impact quality of life. In fact, there are a couple of cases where colorblindness has even been advantageous. First, animals that are colorblind are less likely to be fooled by predators or prey that tries to use camouflage to blend into their surroundings. They rely on subtle changes in textures and outlines instead of in color. Second, in humans, the ability to not be fooled by camouflage has been observed, and in World War II, it was even considered an advantage to have a couple of colorblind soldiers present to help spot the enemy. Also, because color vision is highly dependent on lighting, people who have normal color vision and rely heavily on color to see the world will also have a harder time seeing at night in low light situations than colorblind people. I hope you enjoyed learning more about colorblindness. Please subscribe to see future FYI videos and don't hesitate to make an appointment if you are having any vision problems.